Contingency Plan Code, Obsidian. Subject, Cinder. She is a formidable dragon from a distant realm. Once an instrument of destruction, she was corrupted by Malifor, the Dark Master, who stole her egg and twisted her into a weapon against her own kind. Under his influence, she possessed immense strength, capable of defeating even the most powerful elemental dragons, including the Guardians. She wielded a dark variation of the fire element called Shadowfire, and her powers extended to manipulating poison, fear, wind, and shadow, elements uncommon among her species. A courageous young dragon named Spyro confronted and defeated her, freeing her from Malifor's grasp. Freed from the curse, Cinder lost some of her dark abilities, but retained her unique elemental powers. Though she once possessed Aether, the raw energy of creation typically exclusive to purple dragons like Spyro, it's unlikely she maintained this after her liberation. Cinder's abilities are not limited to elemental manipulation. She is a master of aerial combat, with agility and speed that make her a lethal opponent in the skies. On the ground, her melee skills are honed, allowing her to engage effectively in close quarters. She also possess a heightened resistance to magic, perhaps a residual effect of Malifor's corruption. Additionally, her connection to the shadows grants her stealth capabilities, enabling her to move unseen when she desires. Her emotional bond with Spyro is profound. They share a history of hardship and redemption, and this connection strengthens her resolve. Together, they've faced and overcome threats that endangered their world, a realm inhabited by various dragon races, each with peculiar abilities tied to elemental forces. Dragons in their world are sentient beings with a deep understanding of magic and the balance of nature. Though Cinder has chosen the path of redemption, the potential for darkness remains within her, a latent force that could be reawakened under the right circumstances. Given the potential threat Cinder poses, preparation is critical. To engage her effectively, I've developed the Bat Dragon Armor, a suit forged with a composite of titanium dye baride and carbon nanotubes, layered with a refractory ceramic coating to resist extreme temperatures. This armor is lightweight to maintain agility, essential when facing an adversary with superior aerial mobility. For propulsion, the suit integrates a compact ion thruster system powered by a high-density lithium air battery, granting flight capabilities that could match or exceed Cinder's top speed. The thrusters are adjustable for rapid maneuvering, allowing for evasive actions and pursuit as necessary. Understanding her elemental proficiencies, I've equipped the suit with adaptive shielding. A layer of aerogel infused with cryogenic nanoparticles provides insulation against her normal elements. The suit's external sensors can detect shifts in elemental energies, triggering countermeasures instantaneously. To neutralize her aerial advantage, I've devised cryo pellets, miniature devices that release a rapid freezing agent upon impact. These can be deployed via batarangs or micro-missiles, targeting her wings to impede flight. Cinder seems to lack immunity to cold. Slowing her down would level the playing field. In close combat, the suit's gauntlets are equipped with high-voltage shock emitters. Given her reptilian physiology, an electrical discharge could disrupt her nervous system temporarily. The shock gloves are calibrated to deliver a non-lethal yet incapacitating charge. Restraint foam offers another tactical option. By deploying it onto strategic points, her joints or wing bases, it can be spread to limit her mobility. Considering her shadow manipulation and stealth abilities, I've enhanced the suit's detection systems. Ultrasonic sensors and thermal imaging will counteract her attempts to conceal herself. However, it's imperative to remember that Cinder has walked a path toward redemption. After regaining control of her mind, she's sought to make amends for her past deeds. Alongside Spyro, the Chosen One, they've become guardians of their world, standing against the forces of evil. Her courage and willingness to fight for good showcase her true character. This contingency isn't about aggression, it's about preparedness. Vigilance is necessary to protect the world from potential threats.